Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Caterpillar John Hank. Uh, now I'm here again. Uh, we have our machine. PC220. This machine was uh, reported. It is a low power. And then when I diagnosed it, diagnosed it. So I think the problem is in a hydraulic system. So I go directly here now and the control valve. So now I'm here in the control valve. So based on my first video before, I told to somebody how to repair the pressure. Okay. Now I'm going to start to open. This is the main relief valve. Okay. Main relief valve. So what to do? This is the lock nut. You don't need to open or to remove completely the relief bulb. So you should have to release the, the lock. Lock nut. It is heavy. Uh, before that, I have to put marking. To make it sure that, uh, that I can return it the same with the normal. Okay. This is just a simple uh, idea. Okay. Now. Is, uh, okay now I have to put mark so just two little bit guide if you don't want to adjust it because the problem is a little bit shaking on the pilot control so now I already put marking so must be removed completely but on my uh, idea of how, uh, doing this uh, repairing so I don't need to remove it completely because inside usually that's not become a problem it is not usually having problem in inside so the problem only is in here there is a small less same like a cuff here inside so what I do is just remove that and unlock this okay Marking just in case that uh, I want to return at the same pressure. Okay, so this marking is just to guide us to guide me to put it back to the same pressure. Okay, now okay, we'll see it next. I'll remove first the lock. Okay, because I already put a marking, so I have to start it. Remove the lock. This is the lock. So. <coughs> Okay. See, it's it turns in position. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. This panel you need to use is uh, 19. Okay, this is for the hose removing the hose and 24. Okay, just in case because once they remove the lock nut, sometimes that is uh, easy to remove complete the adjuster okay and 30 this is the size of the lock nut spanner okay and see you next after i remove the sand then uh, i will show you how to replace the oil seal or uh, oil ring now because i'm al i'm alone here so this is the way okay i remove the 19 number 19 hose nut Okay, after that, so you can remove completely. Okay, this is a easy procedure then to remove the complete, complete uh, relief bulb. Okay, if you remove the complete relief bulb, so you have to drain or the oil will be drained off complete, almost complete inside of the control bulb. So, but this process. 
we just only uh, we only be drain little see we'll drip only little unlike wearing when you remove complete okay now This is the o-ring that I, I told to the, this video that always be damaged. See this o-ring? It's already broke. Okay, some piece I think is inside. Oh, the other piece is already gone. See? Okay, this is the o-ring was damaged, so you have to replace it again. Ah, uh, see, is damaged. Okay, I will show you after I replace the o-ring. Okay. Okay, now I have the o-ring. I already fixed it. Okay. See, it's a new o-ring. So what to do? that inside and then take the re, uh, spring push with the spring to keep the plug will be in okay now I feel that's already in inside okay and then now I'll put this one to keep my installations check 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 what is it Yellow. Now I'm going to fix it. Put it back because it's very ever uh, the all the o-ring I was uh, changed is uh, done. So I think better I don't need to adjust. So I have to return as a normal position. Ah, bit of loss. Give it up. One hand, <laughs> that is done. Okay, and then put it back the horse. And then what I do, I have to remove the other one also because I'm sure maybe the o-ring is there is uh, also damaged. So in this uh, way of uh, repairing, just do it one time, and then I'm going to test it one time. Okay. I'll see the next. So again, the other one, just to make it sure that the same pressure it's a uh, will be uh, the same pressure. I have to put marking also. Okay. Okay, now I have the o-ring as I already fixed it. Okay, see, I forgot to mention how how to check this way how to check the main pressure of the pump and then to maximize the pressures pressure the maximize. Okay, you have to put the pin pin to lock the travel motor. See that pin have to lock the travel motor and then start the machine okay start the machine or Let's make the 
seconds. So I have to hold the back buzzer, hold permanent, and then press this button to see. Okay, and then select number two. The number two you can find it out there. Uh, the pressure, oil pressure, uh, hydraulic pressure. Just select number two and then OK. And then select number 11. Number 11 Press buzzer and then Ok now it is now in number 11 Now we will see the pressure How the pressure is moving Travel, I think it is number 12. There is on a number 12 is on pump, pump, uh, rear pump. That's the rear pump. Okay, we'll see the pressure. Okay, 322. That's the ideal pressure. Okay, I put on the Middle pressure, uh, see this is middle pressure. You will see the pressure. How much? The same. There's only little difference. Hi. Stick in, see in, see the pressure, 300. Now I'm going to transfer the pin to the other side. Okay. Just put it in my idle. It's not easy for me to take a video. Okay. I will transfer to the re, uh, front pump. Okay, the front pump is in here. Number 11. Selected number 11. Okay, now it is now in number 11. Now we will see the pressure. How the pressure is moving. Okay. And then close or in the arm. Then you will see the pressure. See, that's the idle pressure of the pump okay idle now I'll try the the travel okay the travel that's the rear pump okay we'll see the pressure okay 322 that's 
sa idle pressure, okay? I put on the middle pressure, the see, this is middle pressure, do you see the pressure? side of a uh, gravel motor so <laughs> it's hard for me to put the pin because it is heavy uh. okay. See, I'll put the pin by one hand it's heavy okay okay that's the procedure to pile it out the maximum pressure must be uh, the rear pump it must be the same pressure with the front pump okay this is the this controlled by the front pump okay so I'm going going to test the front pump pressure I already set the monitor on the front pump shaking unlike before when you force to turn the bracket open or out it is coming shaking now it's everything is okay See, that's, that's all hope you like this video and then uh, please subscribe my channel John Hunt Cater uh, Caterpillar John Hunt uh, hope you like this video and then uh, also uh, like and share if you think this video is helpful thanks this is a pc220 uh, that's seven this was the problem is uh, low pressure or sometimes it's coming high pressure you know what why because the o-ring was i removed i show in this video also how to reopen and replace the o-ring okay thanks hope you like this video Bye-bye.